Good morning and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for our benefits broadcast service of morning prayer on Wednesday the 23rd of August 2023. My name is John Morrison and I'm standing in for our rector the Reverend Joe Richards and our curate the Reverend Jenny Walpole. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To you be glory and praise for ever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the works of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Your spirit ever renew our lives and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The refrain for Psalm 119, starting at the 105th verse, is, O deal with your servant according to your faithful love. O deal with your servant according to your faithful love. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. I have sworn and will fulfill it to keep your righteous judgments. I am troubled above measure. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept the free will offering of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me your judgments. O deal with your servant according to your faithful love. My soul is ever in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, but I have not strayed from your commandments. Your testimonies have I claimed as my heritage forever, for they are the joy of my heart. I have applied my heart to fulfill your statutes, always, even to the end. O oh, deal with your servant according to your faithful love. I hate those who are double-minded, but your law I do love. You are my hiding place and my shield, and my hope is in your word. Away from me, you wicked. I will keep the commandments of my God. Sustain me according to your promise that I may live. Let me not be disappointed in my hope. O oh, deal with your servant according to your faithful love. Hold me up and I shall be saved and my delight shall be ever in your statutes. You set at naught those who depart from your statutes, for their deceiving is in vain. You consider all the wicked as dross, therefore I love your testimonies. My flesh trembles for fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. O oh, deal with your servant according to your faithful love. I have done what is just and right. O oh, give me not over to my oppressors. Stand surety for your servant's good. Let not the proud oppress me. My eyes fail with watching for your salvation and for your righteous promise. O oh, deal with me, with your servant according to your faithful love, and teach me your statutes. O oh, deal with your servant according to your faithful love. I am your servant. O oh, grant me understanding that I may know your testimonies. 
It is time for you to act, O Lord, for they frustrate your law. Therefore I love your commandments above gold, even much fine gold. Therefore I direct my steps by all your precepts, and all false ways I utterly abhor. O oh, deal with your servant according to your faithful love. O oh God, save us from ourselves, from double standards, from divided hearts, and give us light and life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our first scripture reading this morning is Mike. And I said, Listen, you heads of Jacob, and rulers of the house of justice, you who hate the good and love the evil, who tear the skin off my people, and the flesh of their bones, who eat the flesh of my people, flay their skin off them, break their bones in pieces, and chop them up like meat in a kettle, like flesh in a cauldron. Then they will cry out to the Lord, but he will not answer them. He will hide his face from them at that time, because they have acted wickedly. Thus says the Lord concerning the prophets who lead my people astray, who cry peace when they have something to eat, but declare war against those who put nothing into their mouths. Therefore it shall be right to you without vision and darkness to you without revelation. The sun shall go down upon the prophets and the day shall be black over them. The seers shall be disgraced, and the diviners put to shame. They shall all cover their lips, for there is no answer from God. But as for me, I am filled with power, with the Spirit of the Lord, and with justice and might, to declare to Jacob his transgression, and to Israel his sin. Hear this, you rulers of the house of Jacob, and chiefs of the house of Israel, who abhor justice and pervert all equity, who build Zion with blood and juice Jerusalem with wrong. Its rulers give judgment for a bride, its priests teach for a price, its prophets give oracles for money. Yet they lean upon the Lord and say, Surely the Lord is with us. No harm shall come upon you. Therefore, because of you, Zion shall be ploughed as a field. Jerusalem shall become a heap of ruins, and the mountain of the house a wooden height. A song of the word of the Lord. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked abandon their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from above and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread to eat, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me fruitless, but it will accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the task I gave it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Return to the Lord, who will have mercy, to our God, who will richly pardon. Our second reading today is Mark chapter 3, 35 to the end. 
While Jesus was still speaking, some people came from the leader's house to say, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? But overhearing what they said, Jesus said to the leader of the synagogue, Do not fear, only believe. He allowed no one to follow him except Peter, James and John, the brother of James. When they came to the house of the leader of the synagogue, he saw a commotion, people weeping and wailing loudly. When he entered, he said to them, Why do you make a commotion and weep? The child is not dead but sleeping. And they laughed at him. Then he put them all outside and took the child's father and mother and those who were with him and went in where the child was. He took her by the hand and said to her, Talitha, Kum, and those who were with him and went in where the child was. He said, Talitha, come, which means little girl, get up. And immediately the girl got up and began to walk her about. She was 12 years of age. At this they were overcome with amazement. He strictly ordered them that no one should know this and told them to give her something to eat. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Our Gospel Canticle this morning is the Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. You show mercy to our ancestors and remember your holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. You show mercy to our ancestors and remember your holy covenant. Gracious God, we dedicate this day and all its tasks to you and to your glory. Please bring grace to all those who we meet today. We pray for the world and its needs and for the part of play the church plays in the life of the world. May we be unified and effective. We are asked today to pray for the social services, underfunded and under stress, and all those who work in the criminal justice system. We pray especially today for the victims and perpetrators of crime, that the former may be comforted and the latter may see the error of their ways. We gladly pray for the work of all aid agencies throughout the world, from whatever origin they may come. May they bring peace and reconciliation and love and supplies 
to those in need. And finally, we pray for those living in poverty, finding it difficult in these straitened times to make ends meet. And we pray for all those who live under oppression. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O oh God, you declare your almighty power most chiefly in showing mercy and pity. Mercifully grant to us such a measure of your grace that we, running away from your commandments, may receive your gracious promises and be made partakers of your heavenly treasure. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us for our morning prayer. Uh, we will be with you this evening at the normal time of six o'clock for night prayer compline. And I will be with you tomorrow morning as normal at nine o'clock. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.